So some of you have said that you guys have followed the complete crowdfunding marketplace project but some of you have encountered an error. So that's the thing we're going to cover in this video and I hope this video will fix many of your issues and you guys can follow that what you have to do if you encounter any error in terms of CSS configuration because we have used Delvin. So that's the thing we're going to talk about. So this is the file I have downloaded and I have unzipped this one and that's how I'm going to open in the VS Code. So let me open that one, select the folder come back to the desktop and click on this crowdfunding and here we have the and you will get the exact piece of code when you will download that so this is the exact piece of code you will get when you will download the file and those of you have followed the complete project you have to do the exactly the same thing because the folder and file structure is the same maybe you have misspelling something in the CSS configuration that's why you are getting this error so let me do one thing let me quickly delete this one because we have this git let me delete that one come back delete the artifact because we're going to redeploy the contract delete the cache and here we have the context in that we have the AVI of the contract. So we have to delete that as well. Let's delete that one. Looks pretty good. Clean. And here we have the pages. Here we have the script. And this is that startup file. So if you want to follow the complete project from start to end, and that I have provided all the file, all the structures. So you can start away coding the project. So this is the entire startup file you will get. And this is the CSS and this is the tile file. And this is the package JSON file we have which we are using in this project because many of you have complained that this particular package is not working the web3 model is not working the telvin css is not working so make sure to use the exact package version because if you are watching this video after a six month or after a two month there is an upgrade in the package we have used so you don't want to use the upgrade version of the package because we have built the system using the old version of it so you have to use the exact version which we are using because many of you are saying that the package is not working the functionality is not working because we have installed different package version so make sure to use the one we have used in it so that's the all dependency all the script every single thing is looking fine now so let's come back here in the telvin css in the last video i told you that if you guys are getting error that if your CSS is not working, the Delvin CSS is not working and that's the configuration you have to do. So this is the component file we have in that we have all the component of we have all the component of the project we have built all the components. So make sure to do the changes here. So okay, this is the component with a small make it capital. But in my case, it's working fine with the small but in your case, it might work, it may not work. Okay, because some of you have because very few of you have complained about this error which you guys are facing so make sure if you're getting the error make sure to make it capital and that will fix the issue looks pretty good let's make it capital c and that's the configuration you have to do in the tailwind and if i come back here in the package json file and that's let's install all the dependencies type npm i and that's going to install the dependency here we have the node modules and this will happen very quickly because all the packages we are utilizing in the project is very less in nature so that is very light and that will make the application really very fast so just wait for a moment let it be complete and it's taking a little bit time okay finally we have installed all the packages things are looking pretty good to me now what we can do is bring this terminal down and if i come back to the script here so let's come back to the contract open this one this is the entire smart contract we have written for the crowdfunding so i want you to come and analyze and understand pause the video and try to understand the logic we have included in the marketplace because when it's come to building a marketplace all the marketplace has the similar structure similar data model similar input field you have to analyze that because when you will build on an application whether you're building a DeFi project or whether you are building a asset management application it's come from the same route so what I will do now, I'm going to start the local blockchain, means hard at, hard at node. And this will start the application in my local system. Here we have all the piece, the piece of code, looks pretty good. And I want you to come and watch this particular video, okay? This is the project which I have published two days ago. And I want you to follow that. It's a nine hour long video. So this is absolutely a startup kind of project. When you will build that, you will not only build the backend system, but you will build the front end system and you will connect the smart contract and make an actual project which can be useful in the real world. So I want you to build this particular project. It's a really amazing one. If I come here and you can see this is the project which you have to watch. This is the video you have to watch and that I have explained every single thing about configuration, no matter where you want to deploy your contract, whether you want to deploy mainnet, testnet, Polygon, Solana, Ethereum. This is the exact configuration you have to do. If you want to take the hardware account to the MetaMask, you can watch this video that will help you a lot. So I'm not going to repeat the same thing again in this video because that's the repetitive content and I don't want to do that. Now what I have to do is my local system is running, local blockchain is running and I want to deploy the contract to the 
local system <laughs> sorry like on my local browser so let's come here this is the exact piece of command i have to write npm hard at run network and we are deploying to the local that's why we can give local hit enter this will compile your contract and here we got the address so when you will deploy your contract for the very first time with the help of hard at it will generate this particular address so if you will deploy and you will have the same address by default so grab that one come back in the artifact inside the artifact we have this similar drag and drop into the context not in the contract simply bring it back bring it back and drag into here context so we have the ABI of the contract now come back to the context and here we have to replace the address so you can see we have the exact address here simply replace that one and that's pretty awesome that's freaking awesome to me now what i will do here uh i'll try to start the application i'm going to test this out that things are looking pretty fine in my end if you guys are still getting any error make sure to check the version you have installed make sure to check the naming which you have given to your folder and the files make sure to check that maybe you have given some of some sort of spelling mistake in the final code so make sure to compare your code with the final one that will give you a broad understanding and that's how you debug a problem in your code so it's always very important that find out the problem which you have in your code because sometimes i notice that many of you are getting frustrated you say that the code is not working the application is not working it's working you maybe you are missing something in the function maybe you are misspelling something that's why you are having this issue because system is exactly working same in my system and it will work in the same in your system as well if you following the exact step so what i will do i'll simply start the application so i'll tap npm run dev and here you can see local system 3000 come back here and click on this things are looking pretty good to me no more issues we have everything is working fine css all the things looking fine and here i have this send fund okay if i click on that it will open this metamask but i want to cancel this one let me see where it's coming from so what I will do, I'll come back in my code. I'll go to the index page, close this one, close this one, close this one, come back to the pages, go back to the index and let's find it out. So here we have this button which has the gas limit. Okay, what I will do, I'll simply comment this one because we don't need it. Comment this and now it will look fine. Reload the browser, now let me connect my wallet, click on this and here I have to pass my credential. Let me change my, my locations, uh, sorry, localhost instead of police and pass the address. Click on unlock and here we have that one looks pretty good to me we are connected come back to the account too because by default hardhat will use its first account to deploy your contract and this is the first account i have imported in my hardhat again watch that video in that i have explained every single thing that how you can do the configuration both in the local test network and in the in the polygon test network i'll I explain briefly in that make sure to watch that one looks pretty good to me now what i will do i will reload the browser and i'm going to create the campaign so i'll give the name to the campaign i'll say the blockchain coder and by the way if you haven't visited the blockchain coder make sure to visit we have a tons of project there and here i'm going to simply type the description we are collecting money to build free code say spelling wrong let me read check okay that looks fine and the money i want to raise from this particular campaign is let's say uh, 455 and you can give any arbitrary date and click on create campaign it will open the metamask and now you have to create the confirm okay you can see this is the contract function we are interacting with click on confirm and this entire process happened very quickly you can okay the transaction is failed and can you guess why it happened because we are testing this contract locally and we have to make the change in we have to refresh the entire metamask we have to delete the entire cache the cookies we have in the metamask and because of that we are getting this error message because recently i have changed my account from one to two and i haven't cleared the history that's why i'm getting this error so what i will do i'll simply come here do the inspect element you can see this is the data everything is working fine reload the browser come click on the metamask and what i will do i'll simply come to the setting go to the advance and clear all the details reload the browser pretty fine you can see this is the menu that's also looking pretty good to me and now i can simply pass all of these details so i'll give the title the blockchain coder let me give the description we are collecting fund funds for free courses and building let's give the target amount and let's give the date click on create campaign and let's click on confirm and this time you can see the transaction went through and we have a success transaction so if you get this error don't need to worry about that make sure to reload the browser and delete all the cache all the history of from your metamask account and that will fix the issue the transaction went through looks pretty good to me 
reload the browser and no error we have and here we are fetching the information you can click and you can simply able to donate the fund into this you can see you can pass the amount and you can donate close this one let's create one more i'll say this time the public um, blockchain coders the blockchain coders let's do one thing let's copy the descriptions from here and paste here let's give them amount i want to raise and let's give the date click on create campaign here we have confirm and the transaction went through reload the browser and here we have it click on that and we can simply pass the amount and we can simply donate so let's donate a couple of funds click on this let's donate let's say to ether click on this donate to ether confirm and here we have donated to ether you can see if you can come here we can donate the amount five and donate confirm looks pretty good come here and that's working absolutely fine and you can simply able to donate and raise fund you can see every single thing is working fine again i'm telling you things are looking pretty good and all of the things we have and again i'm not going to deploy this contract to the combined test network because i have already done in the last video and in the last four videos i have shown you that how you can deploy that and i'm going to attach that video which you have to watch if you want to do the configuration in the hard hat or in the metamask and in terms of deployment and all of those things okay so that's the only thing i want to talk about in this video hope you guys have understood that what are the things you have to do if you really i uh, want to be complete this project and if you guys are encountering any error then you can simply take the reference from this code and the one thing i want to talk about that if you are getting error related to the tailwind css that css is not working so make sure to check the spelling of the component which you have configured in the tailwind config file so hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you guys and we are done with this project and i hope whatever error you guys are facing now everything is resolved and make sure to follow the complete project we have on the real estate dab because that one is close to nine hour long project and in that you will learn a lot of things that how to build the context how to use web3 model how to use a framework to build an application that's will teach you a lot